Dear students, in this era of technological revolution and with a great boom in the field of information technology, knowledge of computers becomes very essential for students. Keeping this in mind and with a view to spreading computer literacy among our very young students, we are pleased to start introduction to computers. So dear students, from today we are going to start the first lesson of introduction to computers and today's topic is introduction to computers. Dear students, it is said that this is the age of information technology, the age of computers. Today, computers are used in almost all fields of life. Hence, we cannot afford to remain ignorant about this wonderful machine. So, let's learn about computers. What is a computer? Dear students, the word computer is derived from the word to compute, which means to calculate. Therefore, Many people think that a computer is just another calculating machine, a fast calculator. But in fact, a computer is much more than a simple calculating machine. Initially, computers were used only to perform big and complex calculations quickly and accurately. But today, a computer is also used to read, write, draw and perform many other functions. A computer is used to listen to music, watch videos and play games. Dear students, the internet is a worldwide network of computers that holds a large amount of information that you can obtain using your personal computer, it means PC. You can also communicate with other internet users around the world. You can send and receive messages, emails across the world in a few seconds. Dear students, a computer is an electronic machine. It will do exactly as it is told to do. It carries out the instructions given to it perfectly. It will make mistakes only if some wrong instructions are given to it. Computer takes in facts known as data. It works on the data according to the instructions given to it and produces information. Let's learn some basic computer terminology. The first one is input. Dear students, data or raw facts entered into a computer are called input. Input could be numbers, letters, pictures or even sound. The next one is program. Dear students, a set of logical instructions given to a computer to perform a task or work on the data is called a program. Third one is processing. Dear students, when the computer works on the data according to the instructions, it is called processing. The fourth one is output. Dear students, information that is produced by the computer after processing the data is called output. Output is displayed by the monitor or printed by a printer. The fifth one is hardware. It is the computer's machinery. All the parts of the computer that you can see and touch are called hardware. The keyboard, monitor, printer, mouse, etc. all are hardware. The last one is software. All the different sets of programs together are called software. Now see the computer languages. Dear students, computers can understand only those instructions that are written in binary code. But writing instruction or programs in binary code takes a very long time. So computer languages that use decimal numbers, words and symbols have been developed. These are then converted into binary code by some special programs. There are two main types of computer languages, high level languages and low level languages. High level languages. Dear students, they are very easy to learn because they use words that we use in our language. High level languages are converted into binary code by using a special program called an interpreter or a compiler. Low level languages. Dear students, they use abbreviations or short forms to give instructions to the computer. Low level languages are converted into binary code by using a special program called an assembler. Now dear students, we will see the types of computers. Depending on the size, cost, utility, its speed and efficiency, computers can be classified into the following categories. Supercomputers. Dear students, supercomputers are large size computers. They are also called monsters. They are used to perform the most complex tasks which require high speed and precision. It takes a supercomputer 90 seconds to do the work which your PC could do in 20 hours. Supercomputers are used in weather forecasting, defense technology, 
स्पेस रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक रिसर्च मेन फ्रेंड कंप्यूटर्स दिस कंप्यूटर्स आर स्मॉलर बट मोर एक्सपेंसिव देन सुपर कंप्यूटर्स बट दे आर वेरी फास्ट एंड मोर देन हंड्रेड पीपल कैन यूज अ मेन फ्रेंड कंप्यूटर एट द सेम टाइम लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज यूज मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स इन द डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गुड्स एंड अदर मशीन इन लार्ज इंस्टीट्यूशन दिस कंप्यूटर्स आर यूज टू स्टोर एंड एनालाइज डेटा और टू मेंटेन अ लार्ज नेटवर्क ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स मिनी कंप्यूटर्स ये स्टूडेंट्स दिस कंप्यूटर्स आर स्मॉलर एंड चीपर देन मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स अ मिनी कंप्यूटर कैन बी यूज बाय मोर देन टेन पीपल एट द सेम टाइम Like main frame computers mini computers are also used by large institutions like banks commercial organizations government departments and other organizations personal computers PCs dear students these are also known as microcomputers they are used in homes offices and schools they cost less than mini computers and only one person can use a PC at a time PCs are used to create and store documents, maintain accounts, keep a record of data like names, addresses, phone numbers of friends and relatives, play games and listen to music. A laptop computer is also a type of personal computer. So dear students, in this video we have learned what is a computer, computer languages and types of computers. In next video we will see the components of a computer. So watch the video carefully and understand the lesson.